गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स क्लास थर्ड माई सेल्फ मसलीमा शेख सो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो इन द प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर आई हैड एक्सप्लेन यू दिस लेसन राइट द ब्रीमेन टाउन म्यूजिशियन नाउ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस स्टोरी right students i hope in the previous two lecture you had understood the lesson very well means the story very well right students and today i am going to explain you the very last part of this story so here students in the previous lecture i had explain you the part 1 and part 2 right and today i am going to explain you the last part so students before i start the last part of the story first i am going to give you a short recap of part 1 and part 2 so that you can understand the whole story properly right students so let's start now with the story chapter number 27 the bremen town musician students as you know in the previous lecture I had explained you the first part of the story, right? So, students, Bremen means what? Everyone know Bremen town. I had explained you in the previous lecture, right? Bremen town is located in where? Yes, in Germany, right? And there is a famous statue in Bremen town, right, students? And the statue is of the bremen town musician the story which i had explain you in the previous lecture the half story right students means the very first part and today i am going to explain you the second part of the story right students so in bremen there is a statue it's a very famous statue of the bremen town musician right students can you see in this pic yes okay Now students in this story how many characters are there Yes there are four characters and which are those donkey dog cat and cock Students everyone repeat after me There are how many characters are there Yes there are four characters in this story and which are those First one it's a donkey then dog cat and the last one it's a cock right students so now let's start with the story students as you know in the previous lecture we had completed the page number 58 means the very first part of the story right and today we will start with the next page page number 59 means the second part of the story so students before i start with the second part of the story i'm going to you you short recap of the first part so that you can understood the whole story properly right so let's start with the very first part which i had explained you in the previous lecture So students let's start with the very first part once there was a donkey who had worked long and hard for his master now he had grown weak and could not do much work so his master began to treat him unkindly he even began to starve the donkey he wanted to save the money he spent on the donkey food so students starve means keep hungry so here the donkey master is not giving any food to the donkey why because now the donkey has become old and he is not doing much work so for that reason his master is not giving him a food to it right students because his master is thinking that now the donkey is not doing any work so why should i spend food on this donkey right so 
his master is behaving unkindly to the donkey in the end the poor donkey left the house he believed he still had a good strong singing voice so he decided to go to bremen town and earn his living as a town musician students to earn a living means to earn money needed to live so students here in the end the poor donkey left the house because he understood that his master is not treated him very well right for that reason the donkey had left his master house and he still believe that he had a good strong singing voice so he can also go to a bremen town and that he is going to sing a song because he is having a good voice like that he is thinking and in the bremen town he is going to earn some food right students on the way he met an old dog he too had been kicked out of the house by a cruel master the dog was afraid students as you know the dog is also kicked out by the master by the cruel master right so the dog was afraid and he is thinking how will i earn my bread means how will i earn my food because my master is also kicked me out of the house he said this all things to the donkey so now what the donkey is replying that you have a voice good as mine said the donkey so what the donkey has said to the dog that you also having a good voice just my voice is how it is good same it is your voice is also very good like that the donkey has replied to the dog now let us both go to the bremen means both donkey as well as dog both were going to the bremen town and singing for the town's people so they are going to the bremen town and there they are going to sing song for the town's people now what they are saying that we shall be well paid there means we both the partners we are going to the bremen town and there the peoples the town peoples are going to pay us something means they are going to give us something food to eat so the two companion went to gather so here the two companions means the two partners were went together to the bremen town so here students towns people means what people in the town means the people those are living in the town we call as towns people companion means a person with whom one spends a lots of time so now what happened when both are going to the bremen town suddenly they heard a cat mew now sadly they heard a cat mewing sound with tears in his voice so the donkey and the dog hear the cat crying sound right and they both ask to the cat what happened why you are crying like that the both donkey and the dog ask to the cat now what the cat is replying that how can i be happy knowing that my mistress is going to drown me i am now too old and i do only the work is sit by the fire and there i am sleeping for that reason my mistress is going to drown me right i cannot catch mice as i did before so my mistress does not need me any more where am i to go now like that the cat is said to the donkey and to the dog now what they both are saying to the cat dad come with us to the bremen you have a sweet voice and you know night music your voice is too good and your voice is look like a night music so you also joined us like that like that 
the donkey and the dog said to the cat that come to us to the bremen town like that they had said now now the three travel together for some times till they came upon a farmyard now who were the three yes the donkey the dog and the cat the three were travel together and where they had came they had came upon a farmyard now what happened there they heard a cock loud wailing sound means the cock is crying with pain or we can call as with sadness so after hearing the sound of the cock loud wailing what the three had done yes the three had made inquiries that why the cock is crying why the cock is crying so they had asked to the cock that what happened now what the cock is saying that let's see the cock told them my mistress is preparing a feast for her guest she has told the cook to kill me for the feast i am so frightened i am so frightened means what the cock said that my mistress has said to the cock that kill me to kill me because she is going to offer to me in the front of the guest as a feast feast means what as a dinner or we can say as a lunch right the mistress is going to offer to the guest by killing me so the cook is going to kill me for that reason i am very frightened right by hearing this all things the donkey said that you also invited to come to the bremen town to join the musician to join the band of musician like that the donkey said to the cock so students as we had completed page number 58 which i had explained you in the previous lecture students if you notice that i had not explained any word in hindi why because already i had explained you this story right students now we will now the next page page number 59 in that second paragraph means now i'm going to explain you the second part and after that the last part of the story right students so here bremen was still a long way away on the way they had to cross a forest so students still the bremen town is too long right to reach there and in middle they have to cross the forest also as it began to grow dark the cock flew to the top of a tree to look around for shelter so as the night start the cock flew upon a tree tree on the top and looking for a shelter he saw an old house among the trees the four friends decided to rest there for the night so the cock saw a house among the trees and the four friends four friends means donkey dog cat and cock these four friends were decided to rest there for the night it was quite dark by the time they reached the house means it was quite dark till they reach to the house through the window they saw some robbers feasting at a large table inside the animals had a clever idea so while looking to the window they saw that there are some robbers there are some robbers feasting at a large table inside feasting means they are having their dinner on a large table right they are having their dinner on a large table means there are so many varieties of foods were there the animals had a clever idea now let's see what idea they have now why not give their first performance here 
the robbers would be so pleasant they would happily share their food with the four musician they might even pay them for their performance so here the four friend decided that let's give our first performance to the robber means the singing whatever we are going to sing first we are going to give the performance to the robber so that they will be happy and definitely they are going to share their foods with us they might even pay them for their performance like that the four friends were thinking so the donkey placed his four legs on the window ledge students ledge means a narrow surface that sticks out from a wall so the dog jumped upon a donkey's back and the cat on the dog's the cock perched on the cat's head then all at once and all together they began to sing their wonderful song students four legs means front leg right and perched means sat on the edge of something so here for giving their performance the first performance to the robbers what they had done they had the donkey placed his front leg on the window ledge the dog jumped on the donkey's back and what did the cat done yes the cat also jumped on the dog and what about the cock yes the cock perched on the cat's head and they all start together to singing a wonderful song now after that what happened let's see strangely the music only frightened the robbers they only heard a terrible noise and saw a huge shadow cast by the animals together they sprang from the table and taking to their heels disappeared into the forest the four friends were puzzled so now here what happened after hearing the sound which the four musician has made means the four animals they had made some music sound but it not a music it was a terrible sound by hearing this sound the robbers were frightened means what the robbers got feared and they just run away from the house they disappear into the forest now what happened after that the four friends means donkey dog cat and cock they were puzzled puzzled means they were just thinking is it our song was good or bad like that they were puzzled now but the but they gladly gladly means happily but they happily sat down at the table and had a heartly dinner then they put out the light and went to sleep so students they happily eat the dinner and then afterward they went to sleep the donkey on the strip in the yard the cat near the stove the dog on the door mat and the cock on the beam of the roof strus heartily means satisfying beam means a long thick pole used to support a roof now after that what happened now the robbers had not gone very far the leader saw the house become dark and quiet as i told you the four friends had their dinner and they went to sleep right then after what happened the robber had not gone very far they were near only near to the house only now what happened the leader saw the house become dark and quiet so he sent a man to see if it was safe to go back to the house the robbers had kept all their 
stolen riches in that house and wanted them back now what happened in the robbers one was the leader and the leader said to the one man that now there is a safe to go to back to the house so you just go and watch is it everything is okay because they had kept their stolen riches in that house and they want them all back for that reason he had sent one of the man inside the house now let's see what happened after that so students we had completed the page number till the second paragraph okay so students i had explained you first the first part which i had explained you in the previous lecture right and after that i had explained you the second part okay students till the second part everyone understood okay now let's start with the third part means page number 30 the third paragraph okay students first i am going to read the whole paragraph the third one whole paragraph and then afterward i will explain you so here the man went so now students the third paragraph of page number 16 The man went into the house on tip toe. He saw the cat's eyes and thought they were burning coals. He tried to pick up one to light his candle, but it frightened the cat. The angry cat flew at him and scratched his face. This frightened the robber. He turned to run out of the house. now students this paragraph tells us that so students as i told you the man went into the house on tip toe students tip toe means walked on toes very quietly so jaise ki jo robber mein se ek partner tha wo ghar ke andar gaya tha right to wo bahut dheere dheere slowly ekdam dheere dheere toes par chal raha tha right he saw the cat's eyes and thought they were burning coals jaise ki eyes jo cat ki jo eyes thi wo ek burning coal ki jaise usko lag raha tha usko kya lag raha tha jaise koi aag jalta hai na stove ke paas kyunki cat wahi par hi soi thi to uski jab usne apni eyes open ki to wahan par kya usko lag raha tha jaise ki koi burning coal se right he tried to pick up one to light his candle aur usne wo उठाने वो जस्ट गया वो कोल्स को उसने क्या किया उठाने गया तो फिर क्या हुआ बट इट फ्राइटन द कैट कैट डर गई कि कौन है मतलब जो मेरे आइस को आके टच कर रहा है राइट द एंग्री कैट फ्लू एट हिम एंड स्क्रैच हिज फेस सो स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू सी बट इट फ्राइटन द कैट द एंग्री कैट फ्लू एट हिम एंड स्क्रैच हिज फेस जैसे कि वो बिल्ली बहुत डर गई थी कि कौन आ रहा है मेरे आइस पे टच कौन कर रहा है क्योंकि वो बहुत डर गई थी और उसने क्या किया जस्ट उसने वो मैन के ऊपर उसने जम किया और उसके फेस पे उसने सब स्क्रैच कर दिया जैसे कि आप जानते हो कैच के जो नेल्स होते हैं वो बड़े बड़े होते राइट तो उसने उससे नेल से उसने स्क्रैच कर दिया वो मैन के फेस में दिस फ्राइट द रॉबर्स और रॉबर बहुत डर चुका था कि ये क्या चीज़ है बिकॉज देर इज़ नो लाइट राइट द लाइट्स वेर ऑफ एंड द मैन द रॉबर वॉज फ्राइटेंड जो चोर था वो बहुत डर गया था क्योंकि उसे अंधेरे में कुछ दिखाई नहीं दे रहा था इसीलिए वो बहुत डर गया था ही टर्न टू रन आउट ऑफ द हाउस और वो ट्राई कर रहा था कि पटाख से मैं हाउस से बाहर निकल जाऊँ इस घर से मैं बाहर निकल जाऊँ क्योंकि वो डरा हुआ था ना द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ सो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ एज ही रन द डॉग ऑन द डोमैट bite his leg hard he stumbled and fell on the donkey the donkey woken up suddenly gave the robber a smart kick with his hind legs and all this well the cock had been screaming kukuru dudul du like that the cock was screaming in his ears 
and flapping his wings around his head. The robber nearly dead of fright. Now students this paragraph tells us that as he ran the dog on the doormat bite his leg hard. So when the robber is going return back so on the doormat who is sitting? Yes the dog is sitting. Now what the dog has done? Yes the dog bite his leg hard. Jesse ke door ke side pe kon soya tha? Haan dog soya tha right? The dog bhi dar gaya aur usne uske peer pe zor se kaat liya. He stumbled and fell on the donkey. The donkey woken up suddenly. Gave the robber a smart kick with his hind legs. Hind legs means legs at the back. Jesse, students can you see in this pic? Yes. Jesse ke wo stumble. Stumble matlab yaha waha girte girte. Stumble means as it is written. Lost balance and fall. Jesse ke usne apna balance yaha waha karte karte wo just gir gaya. Kis ke upar gir gaya? डोंकी के ऊपर और डोंकी ने क्या किया जस्ट उसने अपने बैक साइड के जो दो लेग्स है उससे उसने उसको एक बहुत जोर से किक मारा स्मार्ट किक विथ इज हिंड लेग जैसे आप देख सकते हो पीछे के दो लेग्स से उसने उसको जस्ट किक मारा राइट एंड ऑल दिस वेल द कॉक हैड बीन स्क्रीमिंग अभी यहाँ पर क्या हो गया ये सब देखकर जो कॉक थी वो भी बहुत डर गई थी तो उसने स्क्रीमिंग क्या स्क्रीमिंग मीन्स जोर से चिल्लाया कुकड़ू डुडुल डू इन हिज ईयर्स उसने उसके ईयर्स में जोर से साउंड किया राइट एंड फ्लैपिंग फ्लैपिंग हिज विंग्स अराउंड हिज हेड जो उसका हेड था जहाँ पे सर था उसने उसके विंग्स से क्या किया उसके हेड पे जोर जोर से मारने लगी द रॉबर नियरली डेड ऑफ फ्राइट मीन्स वो इतना डर गया था कि उससे ऐसा लग रहा था कि मैं मर ही जाऊँगा इस घर के अंदर क्योंकि इस घर के अंदर बहुत लोग है एंड द लाइट्स वर ऑफ फॉर दैट रीज़न ही कान सी एनी थिंग जैसे कि रॉबर को कुछ नहीं दिख रहा था सिर्फ वो बहुत डर गया था वैसे ही एनिमल्स भी बहुत डर गए थे एनिमल्स इसलिए डर गए थे क्योंकि एनिमल्स को लगा जो आया है घर के अंदर जैसे कि एनिमल्स को लगा कि आदमी हमें मार देगा सो ऑल द एनिमल्स वेर फ्राइटेंड राइट And the robber nearly dead to fright means robber तो इतना डर गया था कि उससे लगा कि मैं मर ही जाऊँगा So students, everyone understood till here. Now move to the next paragraph. Somehow he got back to his gang. In a trembling voice, he told them that the house was full of monster and deadly creatures who bite. and scratched and kicked and attacked you in the dark now students this paragraph tells us that now the man who has went inside the house now what he is saying somehow he go back to his gang jaise bhi karke us ghar se wo nikal gaya aur apne gang ke paas pahunch gaya kaun usme se ek robber jo ghar ke andar gaya tha right kaise bhi usne wo ghar se bahar aa gaya और अपने गैंग के पास चला गया इन ए ट्रम्बलिंग वॉइस ही टोल दैम दैट द हाउस वॉज फुल ऑफ मॉन्स्टर एंड डेडली क्रिएचर्स उसने एकदम डरे हुए आवाज से ट्रम्बलिंग वॉइस मतलब बहुत ज्यादा डरा हुआ था ऐसे बोलते ना हम लोग की आवाज में एक शेकिंग होता है कि हम लोग बहुत डरे हुए हैं राइट तो वो आवाज में उसने अपने फुल गैंग से ये कहा कि वहां पर उस घर में उस घर में तो बहुत भूत है और मरे हुए इंसान है डेडली क्रिएचर्स मीन्स मरे हुए इंसान है हु बाइट एंड स्क्रैच एंड किक एंड अटैक्ट हिम इन द डार्क और वो अंधेरे में वो लोग ने मुझे काटा मेरे फेस पे इतना स्क्रैच किया मुझे लात मारा किक मारा और मुझे अटैक्ट भी किया मीन्स मुझे बहुत चोट पहुंचाई है उस घर के अंदर उस घर के अंदर कौन है बहुत मॉन्स्टर है और डेडली क्रिएचर्स है Now trembling means shaking, as I told you. Monster means an imaginary creatures that is large and frightened. So students, everyone understood till here. Now move to the next paragraph. Now students, the last paragraph of page number sixty. 
So the robbers never went back to the house. The four friends found enough money in the house to live on there in happiness and comfort. That is why the musician never went to Bremen. So now students, this last paragraph tells us that So, the robbers never went back to the house. जैसे कि robbers लोग उस घर के अंदर वापस गए ही नहीं. क्यों? क्योंकि वो लोग डर रहे हुए थे क्योंकि उन्हें लगा कि उस घर के अंदर कौन है? Monster है और deadly creature है. Right? The four friends found enough money in the house to live on there. In happiness and comfort. जो four friends है, four friends कौन? Donkey, dog, cat and cock. वो लोग को वहाँ पर घर के अंदर जितने पैसे थे जो चोरी करके रखे थे किसने रॉबर ने राइट तो सारे पैसे उनको मिल गए तो वो लोग एक अच्छी लाइफ वहाँ पे जी सकते थे क्यों क्योंकि उनके पास अभी घर भी है और पैसे भी है राइट दैट इज़ वाई द म्यूजिशियन नेवर वेंट टू ब्रीमेंट तो इसी वो लोग ब्रीमेंट टाउन में गए ही नहीं क्यों क्योंकि वो लोग ने जो वहाँ पर गाना गाया था वो लोग का फर्स्ट परफॉर्मेंस उसके वजह से उन्हें वहाँ पर ही बहुत सारा पैसा मिल गया था और प्लस हाउस भी मिल गया था पैसा किसका था यस yes, वो रॉबर्स लोग का था जो उन्होंने चोरी करके वहाँ पर रखा था राइट right? तो वो पूरे एनिमल्स को फोर एनिमल्स को वहाँ पर पैसा मिल गया प्लस शेल्टर भी मिल गया इस वजह से वो लोग ग्रीमेंट टाउन कभी गए ही नहीं सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड दिस लेसन यस so students after watching this video i am going to send you the notes of this lesson you have to complete the notes before 6 pm okay students so students if you have any doubt regarding the notes or about the explanation you can call me or whatsapp me on my personal number so students thank you for watching the video